And in continuing our coverage, CBS 4's Brian Spencer has been in Laguna Heights since early this morning. He spoke with those who were impacted. He joins us now with more reaction. Brian. That's right, Jeremiah. The community is hurting right now, but they're banding together and determined to get through this. We, the last time we got a tornado warning, we were like, oh, it's not going to hit. Nothing happened. So we thought this time, oh, nothing's going to happen. So we just prepared for just rain, flooding. Residents say they prepare for hurricanes, but tornadoes are so rare in this area, they weren't convinced one would touch down in their neighborhood. I didn't believe it. I honestly didn't believe it. I was like, I said no. There's no way. A representative from the National Weather Service says there was no time between the alerts being sent out and when the tornado struck. The current indication based on the warning time that we have is zero. So it went out at the same time the tornado was touching down. Several homes were destroyed, some even flattened to the ground. In this close-knit community, everyone knows everyone, and this tragedy hits close to home. I mean, it gets you emotional because we know these people. We know everybody. My, my husband, he grew up here. Many of the homes in the area that weren't destroyed suffered serious damage. There are also many animals that have been displaced by the tornado. Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevino says the county will work with local shelters and organizations to ensure pets also have somewhere to stay. The cleanup effort is already underway, and residents hope it won't be too long before they can pick up the pieces and return home. Coming up in minutes, our Joe DeLeon will talk about organizations and how they're helping the community recover. Working for you in the city of Laguna Heights, I'm Brian Svensson.